you're obviously doing Deadpool. How often have you cosplayed as Deadpool? Uh, quite a few times now. Just a, just a couple. Um, started about four years ago at KitaCon with a completely, with a very, very different suit. So how many suits have you had so far? Suits, base suits, about five. But not not like not this quality. The first two or three were more suits, so quite straightforward really. So what's been like the most expensive bit of doing the costumes? Ooh, probably my masks. Well I mean the suit itself was pretty expensive, but when I had all my masks, that's probably more expensive. My, my, sing, my single most expensive item is the suit. Yeah, that was definitely the most expensive thing. And how much have you spent? How much do you reckon you've spent on Deadpool costumes in total? Three to four grand. Over four years, about a grand a year, give or take. <laughs> Okay, so sources from Masters of the Universe, this is absolutely fantastic. Three to the twelfth, but it was the back of this that got me. That's just amazing. So how long did it take you to make? Um, it was quite a rush job. It, ta it took about three weeks to make. It's, that's a lot of sewing. Yes, most of the most of the time is actually in the, the back feathers. Mm -hmm. um, the entire cape is just made out of poly cotton, so it's cheap, cheerful, nice and light days like today as well. And the staff, the staff's fantastic too. That's just the staff is foam play for the finer details, craft foam, and an old broomstick. Fantastic. So, have you seen the new she -Ra? I have. What do you think? I do actually like it. I'm not too sure about the artwork, but I am a girl who loves her classics. So, I do much prefer the older version, personally. Well, the Sorcerer has been a favourite of mine for years. Um, I had to wait until I had the skills, or I felt comfortable, to tackle such an iconic lady. And I'm so happy I waited, and I'm really the reception she's getting today is amazing. It does look absolutely amazing. I'm, in, I'm amazed that so many people remember who I am. <laughs> Not everybody's favourite doctor. So why did you? <laughs> because he is bucking, my favourite. This time, particularly after Remembrance of the Daleks. When he becomes far more mysterious. So, what was the hardest bit of the outfit to find for accuracy? The shoes. How long did it actually take you to make this? Well, I guess around six months, I guess, it's taken. And what's it made from? It's made from EVA foam, um, ABS on the arm, uh, ABS on the hands, and an ABS helmet. So, okay, and it's all got the electrics, electrics okay. inside. It's got a rocket arm as well, which I've just turned off today. But uh... so how much? How much would putting something like that together cost you? About two thousand pounds. You bought the undersuit and all the strapping and all the foam and all the paint and everything else. It's just, uh, yeah, it adds up to not a cheap hobby. So I take it it's not like one of many, many cosplays you do? So. No, I normally do a stormtrooper. So 
I normally do Star Wars characters with my son here, Sraj, you know. He does uh, Spider-Man today. Yeah, we normally uh, we, we belong, belong to a, a group called the Imperial Outlanders, uh, which is about two about two thousand strong now uh, worldwide. So uh, we normally say normally cosplay as um, Star Wars characters, and we're now branching out into the Marvel universe. So, what's your favourite bit of the costume? Favourite this costume? Yeah. Well, I guess when the batteries were working, the, the automatic helmet is pretty pretty good because it will go up and up and down on its own. And the worst bit? The worst bit? Um, the feet, yes, the feet aren't, aren't easy to walk in. But we have this absolutely fantastic costume. Can we get 12 super wings? And that's just amazing. And we have the person who made it. So how, how did you go about putting this together? Um, this is made from uh, EVA foam. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a pattern from a person on Etsy. Um, and you basically just cut the foam out, glue all the shapes together, and you end up with a 3D shape that you can use. And how long did it take? And that's including painting it? And it's amazing. Yeah, it's all made with um, foam from polygrops, um, painted with a Vallejo metal metallic black paint, uh, and then top coated so that it's nice and waterproof and sturdy. Amazing. Okay, so we are here with PR UK. It's Sam and Sean. Sean um, who are really difficult to get in the same shop. <laughs> I'm very sure, I apologise. Okay, okay, so so how long has PR UK been going? PR UK itself has been going a year and a half? Yeah, there's a year and a half, but all the members, we've known each other for years. We're talking five or six years from the con circuit. Uh, and we thought, why don't we have a group? Well, we can all get together and do it all together. And because also raise money for charity, which raise is a really money for good charity. cause. Yeah. So. I mean, there's a few other groups out there. Um, and we thought, we'll give it a shot as well. <laughs> okay, so all, all the costumes I've seen are... I can't remember what the original name of the series is, but the, uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah. Uh, Ranger is the Sentai series. Yeah. Okay, and, and do you do the costumes yourself, or are you buying them in as kits? Or? Uh, it's a lot of different piece together pieces, so I make things like the helmets, so I'll get kits and finished helmet kits. The suits, there's various different makers out there that you can go to. Um, again, you can get whole packages. It's just shopping around, basically. There's a lot of different places where you can get things from. Yeah. It normally works out better to kind of piece them together yourself. So, I like the lycra separately, the belt separately, uh, the buckle, the boots. Like, so sort of, if you piece it together separately from different makers, you can save a lot of money. But they're not cheap things to uh, to make. No. Yeah. So, how long have you been costuming? Um, I personally since about 2006. About that. Different so, stages. 2014 I started. In 2009. Okay, so let's have a look at the pack. The pack's the big thing. Okay, so did you do these ones from scratch or are they kits? Uh, my one's a kit. So resin, fiberglass, and wood. Uh, mine's a kit as well. And mine's a kit as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. The first one was scratch build out of wood, and it was heavy, so I upgraded. So how much? How much does it cost to get a food one pack and outfit together? Uh, varies depending if you're doing it from a kit or scratch. Yeah, my first ever pack it cost me about in terms of materials and buying tools, it was about three hundred pounds. So I built it out of wood and just 
yeah, so basically it's my time that I was spending. Uh, the kit, uh, basically a good kit comes to about £400, and then electronics, depending on where you get them, it's another 200 I'd say, so all the that brand. I've heard ones come in packs or, or ones as well, separately as well, yeah. don't they? So you get some that are more expensive than others, but yeah, they're around that kind of price. Okay, so what's your favourite bit of the kit? What's your favourite bit of the costume? My favourite bit? Um, Mine's the pack first. Yeah, it's the pack. Yeah. It's, got, it's got all the lights and you know, so it's, it's, it's the, the bells and whistles. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'd say the go to answer is nearly always the crown pack. But I'd say the favourite bit of the awesome, favourite bit of the whole costume is taking it off at the end of the night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>